Samantha Hart breezed into the conference room and the idle conversation and clattering of laptop keyboards came to an abrupt halt as she assumed her seat at the top of the long table. Sparkling water was set before her by her assistant, the intern Holly, daughter of Herman Lightbody, hedge fund manager and 20% owner of Talker Social, hashtag TLKR. Okay, everyone, let's get started. Pursing her lips as Holly scuttled back to her seat at the edge of the room in anticipation of the chief of staff, Howard Engel, taking it from there. We've got great news. Subscribers are down less for the last month than the previous one. Clapping his hands and looking for affirmation from Samantha, who gazed back at him with her dead eyes. He gulped and swiftly moved on. Ad revenues are projected to be up, looking more confident. We've got Dizzy and Netpoke both pushing their new movies on the platform. It was a mystery to all as to how Howard managed to have such perfectly ironed shirts with not a single wrinkle. His attention to sartorial detail was rivaled only by Samantha. Right. Which always sounded like a put down, even when she was okay. Thank you for enlightening us, Howard. She scanned the room and flicked her long, chestnut-dyed hair behind her right ear. In the social media industry, she was known for her conference speeches about caring for her employees. But within this room, everyone was scared to death of her. And all former employees signed waivers to never discuss her in public again as part of getting a leaving bonus, as it was known. Who's next? We're revising our community guidelines as an action from the last meeting said Clarissa Davis. So far, we've blocked 13 videos that contained hate speech. She smiled, and others sat forward in their seats. Now the ice seemed to be breaking. Interesting. Any examples of what was being picked up? Samantha inquired. Well, one shocking and truly problematic video had boys laughing and throwing tampons around their bathroom after the school installed a sanitary vending machine in the boys' bathroom. It broke our new menstruating people guidelines. Clarissa was blooming with triumph. She had been hoping for a promotion in the coming months and was sure things were going in her direction as she fiddled with the cuff of her shirt that was once called a blouse during the darkest years of the patriarchy. So problematic, tottered Howard as a murmur of tut sympathy spread across the room. Samantha's eyes narrowed as she planted her bejeweled hands on the table and stood up, pacing over to pour herself a coffee, shooing away Holly, who had dived to try and pick up the coffee pot before her. She turned around, cup in hand. Okay, people. Tell me what you've got in mind to drive more subscribers and ad revenue by... 25% in the next quarter. They looked at each other. Mario Caban was the first to break the silence, which seemed to last for minutes, but was probably only 10 seconds. Our tech team have been working on these neat APIs to enable our partners to mine the usage data on what people are searching for on the platform, his eyes gleaming with excitement. Okay, IT guy, let's put a pin on that for the tech meeting this afternoon. You probably don't have any revenue targets for me like the rest of the geek crew, right? Actually, we're aiming for up to 10 million in sales in the next quarter. Well, finally, I get something useful from the room in the shape of In God We Trust and the Color Green. Thank you, Marcus. Um, it's Mario looking at the floor as her lips were poised to respond, but she refrained. And silence fell again. Carla Bewley had been quiet up to this point. She was a recent joiner on the content and trending team, freshly poached from a print media gossip magazine that had managed the transition to fully online with deep penetration of the millennial market segment. <clears throat> she cleared her throat. Uh, Samantha and Howard, I've got some news that's interesting on William Bewley. Who? sneered Samantha. 
He's from the pop band Mrs. Smith and the Daughters, Howard chimed in, helping Clarissa's heart rate to climb down to a more reasonable level of panic and fear. We're gathering. He's a climate sceptic. The room seemed to freeze, and you could have heard the throbbing of Carla's jugular vein. Is that even a thing? mused Clarissa, wide-eyed and shocked in amazement. Isn't he from the West Coast? Cancel them! shouted Samantha. What do you mean him? asked Carla, reeling from the force of Samantha's voice. Well, I don't presume to know their bloody pronouns, do I? I don't want to get cancelled out in return, right? Swinging her shoulders and head from side to side like an overdrugged dancer, she patted her jacket pockets and fished out a pewter cigarette case, setting it on the table. Howard knew she only smoked on the roof terrace when she was getting heated up pretty bad. No doubt, she was under pressure from investors to arrest the decline in the user base. Do we have anything else to discuss? Reviewing the room and satisfying herself that the meeting was over. Very well, Clara. Carlos, sorry, and flushing with embarrassment at being so quick to correct her. Run with it, Carla, and get this ghastly abomination William Berkeley trending. I feel a talker mob coming on. And with that, she walked out, primed cigarette in mouth and lighter in hand.